So we've undisputed, it has now been out a couple of days, and is it worth buying? Now, there is two different versions you can get, the standard edition and also then the deluxe. The deluxe does come with some extra fighters in it, which I believe, so far, there are not sold separate. Now, that could change, we've seen games most definitely go back on their word there, and they, they could, they, they most definitely could bring new characters in. There's been talks of Mike Tyson coming in, but it's very much rude rumors at the moment so whether we see any updates to the game other than just generic problems bugs all of that kind of fixes that's kind of all where we're at at the moment so when it comes to the actual overall gameplay of it i feel like it is as standard as you want really there's nothing really too crazy with it there's not necessarily a massive wow factor with it it is just a standard boxing game if you've ever played any in the past uh from fight night all the way down there it, it, there's nothing that's like okay this is going to be a generational boxing game or even a fighting game in general i feel like you're just doing the same old same old now that is great for massive boxing enthusiasts especially gaming boxing enthusiasts because we've not really had anything other than the kind of the ufc franchise that's really going to step to the plate now, in terms of generic uh, mechanics, everything's as standard as you like. You've got your buttons that you can press, power shots, obviously body shots. You can throw fakes, you can block, head movement. That's all well and good. I feel like that is as standard as ever. And to be honest, that's the bare minimum when it comes to it. I don't think they could really get that side wrong because it isn't necessarily a massive complex thing in terms of what we put it and compared to a completely different like RPG genre where the game is absolutely massive. The designers have to go within the parameters of a ring and you've got to make it as fluid as possible. Now that's the only thing that I think is going to be very difficult to do. To make the actual fight, the AI fluid, yourselves fluid from the buttons you press, the combos you do, that's the real hard bit to get going and I think they've done moderately well sometimes it does feel a little bit arcadey kind of thinks that it's just a little bit sluggish at times like you're constantly pressing buttons but that is really as far as you can go with it really I don't think you could make it any more fluid to what it is without it actually being like a proper you are box fighting um so that, in general, is where I'm quite happy with it. When it comes to the roster of uh, Undisputed, I think it's decent. I, I don't think it's necessarily bad. There is definitely some that are missing out that potentially could have contract issues, licensing issues, uh, image rights. That I can understand with. It, you can't get everybody, unfortunately. We've got the likes of Muhammad Ali. We've got Usyk. We've got Tyson Fury. We've got a couple of Tyson Furies. And then, obviously, we're going a bit further down. We've got Deontay Wilder, Frank Bruno, all in that sort of top heavyweight category. When it comes to like the Amir Khans, we've got, and also then the likes of Alvarez, um, Ricky Hatton's in it. But we are missing out on a few. We're missing Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, AJ, and there's probably more niche options. Pacquiao as another one um, that I am missing out that. Obviously, there could be many reasons why they're not there. Some people may want more money than what's been given to them. Some people might be contract tied and, and maybe with a different game, for instance, EA um, or any other sporting franchise that I personally don't know about. That That is more than the reason I can imagine every, uh, especially every performing boxer like AJ at the moment has definitely been contacted at the minimum. I don't feel like they'll make a game without trying to get one of the top uh, kind of athletes in the sport. So that is kind of one thing that is maybe not under their control. I'm not in contracting. I don't know how that physically works. It's not as easy as I can imagine everybody thinks. The career mode aspect of the game is very simulating. Um, and, and again, it depends on what you actually want from the simulation, because obviously with it, um, the main aspect is to fight, get to the rank, uh, top rank, then obviously win belts and just 
continue from there. So I suppose, really, you're getting what you pay for sort of thing. Now, obviously, it is a lot of just advancing through the weeks, um, doing the training without actually doing the training. I think that could be part of the reason where you are just constantly fighting. There's no training. There's no kind of skill game aspect to it, like punching the bag, recovery sort of stuff, or sprints or anything like that. That is where I think the career mode, it may not make it necessarily a 10 out of 10, but it, it would add just a little bit more to it rather than just simulating it on a screen. And, and again, that can go to many other different uh, kind of opinions on if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose at, at kind of one uh, price there, it it does cut out all the fluff. I suppose if you're having to do, uh, say, a fight camp and it's five weeks and you're having to do five different skill games every fight, I can imagine I'd probably have a different tune after the first month. But that is just something that they could have added in as an optional effect, maybe. Maybe you go and do the puncher bag and it gives you an extra percent on your sharpness. It's just something along them lines. So I think in terms of the career mode, you have your pro career, your challenges, your stats, all of that good stuff. And then also some stats on the coaches. You can obviously go up the ranks with your coaches and you've got to give them contracts, manage your money and continue your way to success in the career. Now, that is very well and good and you can increase your pro as you kind of go through the rounds of fighting that I'm, I'm okay with. I think it's pretty standard. Um, career mode in itself is a very perfect way of doing it. And obviously you've got different gyms you can go with that give you extra bonuses as well. So that in general is not a problem whatsoever. Um, when it comes to online, that's completely different kettle of fish. Um, with online, obviously with that, it is all about just going and slogging like i've seen many tiktoks lives all of that stuff where people are just going fight after fight after fight and and to be fair that is as standard as ever we've seen it with ufc i've seen pro players just go literally hours upon hours of just constantly going online the one thing i like is that you can choose whoever you want sometimes that can be uh, kind of shelled off a little bit and normally what you find is say for instance if Tyson Fury was the best boxer all round you physically cannot beat him it would just be a constant fight of Fury versus Fury um, or and on that sort of effect but obviously with the online category there is a lot of people challenging themselves trying to use the lower people trying to use uh, kind of different people that nobody even knows about or obviously are not using against the top people which is absolutely fine I, I think that is a standard from what I've heard online there's not necessarily many bugs as such that I've seen maybe a few disconnection issues but to be honest what game doesn't have that at this point so I think online side of stuff it's it's very standard it's kind of like a career mode but online it's you've got your record your win losses KOs and draws um, and then you can do ranked unranked against your friends I think with this game what I would suggest in terms of what's the worth of it, I would definitely be looking at the standard edition more so than anything if you are necessarily not too fussed about the extra fighters. Because realistically, the game is very much just an enjoyment base. There's not necessarily a massive kind of story career element and, and there shouldn't be because it is just a boxing game it's it's a fighting game that's the whole point um there's not necessarily meant to be a st uh, kind of like a story to it um so that that's kind of just where i would be at in terms of just going for the standard because when we look at the price between them there's not necessarily a massive, massive gap, but it's it's a, a noticeable gap at, a gap at a minimum. You're looking at £65 for the deluxe edition, and then you're looking, I want to say it was around about £44, uh, £50, so £50 for the standard edition, um, so what, you're paying an extra £15 on top, and realistically, the deluxe includes uh, a couple of fighters, you'll see a few of the legends, um, and then obviously the apparel pack, alternative ring attire for, for certain fighters, the era pack, play early, obviously the Three day early access, and then you just have the the standard. There's there's not really anything else they could give to you because there isn't necessarily anything else that is worth giving as such. So I think when it comes to the game, it's a solid game. It's not necessarily one that I'd be like everybody must must have it. But definitely, if you're a boxing fan in general, and if you are very much into the fighting scene, it's another one to put on your list. I think it, it definitely has that sort of uh, kind of pull for it. I do like the prize fights as well. That is something a little bit extra, almost like a little challenge mode as such, 
t test kind of your ability and you can kind of see how uh, far you can go in it. I do hope that they do update them. Um, that is going to be something because at the minute you've got an intermediate challenge, a pro and also an undisputed. So that could be nice as kind of like a seasonal thing, a monthly thing, maybe even a weekly thing where they do add them. But I must admit, I've got a funny feeling that they just keep it the same which i'm hoping they don't because there's no timer on it there's no days left there is a leaderboard for it but we will be interested to see how far they can go with it and what more they can do as such but that's going to be everything let me know down below if you have got the game what is your thoughts on it leave it in the comments for everybody else and if you're going to pick it up let me know what version you're going to pick up but apart from that make sure you like and subscribe